Hi everyone, welcome to Photoshop Pro Help and today I'm going to be teaching you this great pixelated effect. Now this effect is really easy and simple to make and really pretty fast. So let's jump into the actual tutorial. So we're going to need a image and we're going to need to cut the item or the object or the person out of the image which I've done already and you can do this a number of ways you can use the pen tool you can use the quick selection tool and the refine edge which I used the quick selection tool as I just wanted to be really really quick about this so once you have done that and you've put your item on a new blank layer um, so it's above it so this is what we did start off with right here and I've extended the canvas size which I'll explain why in a minute so let's go back to the object the person in question so here we go and this side right here I have expanded so the reason I've expanded is to so we can put the pixels on this side and you can either have your object on either side so when you go and expand your canvas um, you want to decide what side your um, object or person is going to be so we're going to go to image and we're going to go to canvas size now this is how you expand the canvas size is you change your width you, I've just doubled it to where it actually was and you can need to gonna click some of these arrows now if you want to expand to the right hand side then you're going to click the left arrow if you want to ex expand to the left hand side then you click the right arrow and then once you've done that you're going to go and click OK now I don't need to do that because I've already done so so once you have something like this you have your background for backup just in case you want to do something else or you need to delete and start again and we have this new one which is cut out with an expanded canvas size so once we've done that we're going to go and click on the background or if you don't have a background and you didn't do the same way I did you can just make a new blank layer and then you can just drag it down to the bottom but that's only if you don't have a background layer then if you do have a background layer you just want to put that uh, new blank layer just above that background layer now once you've done that we're going to go to the paint uh, the paint bucket tool which is on the left hand side you want to make sure that your foreground color is too white and we're just going to put that color to white and then we're going to go and select our top layer now we're going to go and select the paintbrush tool and we're going to go to the drop down menu at the top and once we've done that you want this brush right here now most of you won't have this brush probably loaded so we want to go to this little arrow that's pointing to the right hand side click that and we want to go down to drop shadow brushes now once you have loaded that into the brushes panel you want to select the bottom one which is 58 so we're going to select that and then we're going to go and play with the brush um, preset so we're going to go to window and brushes and you'll get this panel come up now we want to put on a scattering so we're going to go and change some of the options in here so the both axes we're going to make sure that's unselected the scatter is going to be 1000% control is going to be off count is going to be 1 count jitter is going to be 100% and control is going to be off and for the next bit we're just going to add some texture now for this one we're going to go and click invert and we're going to go and change the uh, texture here and you want this sort of texture which is an oil pastel on canvas now you probably don't have that loaded so you can go to the little arrow that's pointing to the right just like the brushes and then go down to artist surfaces once you've got that loaded it's just the bottom one now once you've done that we can hide that and we're going to go through some of these options so scale is going to be set to 50 percent texture each tip is going to be selected a mode of subtract depth of 50 percent the depth jitter is going to be zero percent and control is going to be off now once you've done that we can just hide that and then basically we're going to go down to the mask uh, masking tool so we're going to put a masking layer on this image so it looks like a little camera at the bottom near the FX button and you'll get this come up now we want to make sure that's selected in the layers 
and we're going to go to our brush tool make sure that you've got black selected as the foreground color and then we're just going to go hold and drag um, to create this effect here now you want to change the brush size um, quite a bit just so nothing looks um, so it looks all random instead of just so it's just like that now you can spend a lot more time on this than me um, I'm just showing you very quickly what to do now once you have something like that all we're going to do is duplicate that layer so you can press Control and J or if you don't want to do that you can just drag that layer down to the new layers icon which is at the bottom and just drop it on there and it will duplicate the image for you now once you've done that we're going to go and select this duplicated layer we're going to right, on, right click on the masking layer and we're going to delete that mask layer now once you've done that we're going to go and make a new blank layer so at the bottom again and we want to make sure uh, that we've got the clone stamp selected and then we want to hit control, uh, sorry, alt on the keyboard so hold that down and we're going to go and click on the object so we're cloning from this bit and then we're just going to paint just out here so so there we go just like that and then you can scale the brush down like that so and you can hit alt again to change where you're cloning from and just do that don't forget to keep changing your brush size and alt again to change where you're cloning from and so just so it doesn't look random so it actually looks real um, you're going to spend a lot more time on this so you're going to make it look a lot more perfect than I am now once you have done that we're going to go to the second from top layer which is the duplicated layer which we took the masking uh, layer off and we're just going to go to filter we're going to go to blur and we're going to go to motion blur and we're going to have an angle of 0 and a distance of 50 you're quite welcome to change that depending on your image and then click OK and then from here all we're going to do is we're going to change the blending mode to soft light which makes it a darker image and pixels stand out a lot more and that's pretty much um, the image done really the effect done all you want to do is you want to go um, to the eraser tool which is on the left hand side and click the top layer and you can drop the um, eraser the sorry the size of the eraser and you can just take out some of these pixels that are basically joining with each other as you want individual pixels not clustered um, pixels that are joining so once you've done uh, done that then you've really got a perfect image so apart from that that's the tutorial done now I've got some other things I want to talk to you about um, on my website I have a advert scheme going on where you can go to my website you can find an available ad space and you can click it and you can pay for your ad to be displayed on my website now it goes from a couple of days to a couple of weeks to a couple of months even and the price varies depending on what spot you choose and how big the advert is and um, you've got all different spots on my website so go check them out you can design your own advert and put it on there to advertise your YouTube channel or your website or stuff like that so go and check that out guys please comment rate and subscribe on my um, YouTube channel and I'll see you next time bye for now